Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I want to talk about hydroponic fertilizers and how to mix hydroponic fertilizer. And so you need basically a few ingredients for this. You're going to need first master blend 41838. The second fertilizer is calcium nitrate. And the last one is plain Epsom salt. So these are basically the three ingredients that I always use for my hydroponic fertilizers. They work excellent, and let me just show you a couple of examples. Look at this beautiful squash plant, a nice little pepper plant, as well as a nice beautiful little grow bed maturing for me. And there's basically two stages of plant growth, as well as two different ratios that we're mixing. And each ratio will coincide with the plant growth first being the vegetative stage, which is what we have right here on my right hand side. That's when plants are nice and young and maturing and putting on new leaf growth like I mentioned. And the second stage being flowering stage. And that's when plants are putting on beautiful flowers and buds and producing fresh fruits and vegetables for you. So being that there's two stages of growth, plant growth, we need two stages of fertilizer. So now that we understand why we're using two different mixtures, let me teach you how to mix it up. First, let's start with the vegetative stage because that's what you're always going to start with. You're going to need a mixture of Master Blend, 41838, 2 grams, calcium nitrate, also 2 grams, and Epsom salt, one gram. So now that we have that ratio measured out, you're also gonna need a scale. I already pre-measured this right before starting. Make sure your scale reads in measurements of grams. You wanna be precise with this measurement and keep it always the same. This way you know you have the proper levels. So we just take our water bottle. This is a one gallon jug basically that's filled with one gallon of water and we're going to put in first our master blend so you want to pour it in nice and slow and just make sure try not to really inhale that if possible that's a little bit dusty that first one because it's very fine powder now that that's in there that's two grams you want you want to basically cover that up and mix it up. It's nice to mix between each fertilizer adding basically. So let's just mix this up. And you want to make sure to mix it up really well because this way everything mixes nice and evenly. And the second item that we have is basically Epsom salts. Now. A lot of people, they add their calcium nitrate before adding their Epsom salt. I personally like to add Epsom salt first because I found when I add Epsom salts before the calcium nitrate, it really mixes up very well in the bottle and there's no sediments left at the bottom. Usually when I put in my calcium nitrate before Epsom salt, I would find that the, salts would stay, the Epsom salt would stay at the bottom of the jug and it wouldn't mix up properly. So by changing up the way that I added in, it really made a big difference for me. But definitely feel free to try both and see what works well for you. So let's mix this up. That's nice and mixed. So lastly, we're gonna add uh, two grams of calcium nitrate. And make sure you get everything nice and slow, everything goes in. And I forgot to mention, always wear gloves when dealing with any type of fertilizer. Close that up and give it a nice mix. So now that we shook everything up, this is nice and ready. 
So we have our vegetative stage ready to go. And we're actually going to be using this today. So we'll take you on that a little bit later. And the second one that we're going to do need is basically the flowering stage, which is when plants are maturing and putting on flowers, vegetables, fruits, producing. That's usually when they're in their later stage of, of growth. And they will require different levels in the PPM. And that's really important to be able to monitor because you want to know what's going on with your plant. And a lot of times you're able to assess what's wrong based on the water, the hydroponic water that you're using. And I think it's really good to have a PPM reader. If you're not going to get a pH, pH meter, at least get this PPM reader, which is called a TDS meter. And that'll check the PPM in the water. So for example, we just mixed this vegetative stage. So let's check how much that comes out to. So you come in, you just turn this thing on. And this thing measures in the thousands, which is excellent for hydroponic gross. So let's see what it comes out to. You want to make sure to give it a second. So it's come it's reading at around it says right now it's 782 and once once that all settles in it's going to be between 700 and 1000 which is basically really good for the vegetative stage for most plant growths if you look at the chart online, there's there's many resources you're able to look at. I'll put a link down below for a great, great website that shows you exact levels of plant of most plants. Uh, it shows fruits, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, fruits, vegetables, herbs, and flowers. And it'll tell you what, what, what pH balance it needs, what PPM it needs, what EC. So that's really, really excellent resource. I think you should we'll check that out and I'll put the information below. So now that the vegetative stage is done, let's mix up the flowering. So again, we take our scale and you want to have a scale that reads in grams. And I like to use basically three separate dishes as well as three different spoons. This way everything is being used the same way and I don't mix up the ratios so for example I don't get a little master blend mixed into my calcium nitrate everything is nice and clean and sterile so we'll do that make sure to zero it up you want to get two being that this is the flowering stage we're going to be using three grams now of master blend and you'll notice this will make the biggest difference in your plant growth, you'll see a lot more fruit production. You see bigger and stronger plants. So that's three grams. You want to have three grams of calcium nitrate as well. And don't forget to zero it out. And just go nice and slow. Make sure you get the right amount. You could always add more. So almost there. There we go, 3.0. So that's three grams. And the last one is Epsom salt. We're gonna be using two grams of Epsom salt. So as you see, the ratios are similar, but slightly different. almost there there we go two grams so let's mix that up into our one gallon jug we're going to be using master blend first and again nice and slow
close that up, mix it up. Second, we add our Epsom salt, two grams. Give that a good shake. And again, we're mixing between each adding of ingredient. This will make a nice big difference and make sure everything is mixed in very well and evenly. And lastly, we're gonna add our calcium nitrate. This is three grams. There we go. And let's mix that up. Make sure the lid's closed. And you want to make sure to give everything a really good shake and a good stir. So there we have it. We have our two hydroponic fertilizers nice and ready. We got our vegetative stage. For like I mentioned, when plants are in their early stage of growth and developing and putting on new leaf growths. And we got our flowering hydroponic mixed up for when plants are producing fresh fruits and flowers and maturing for you. So now that you know how I mix up my hydroponic fertilizer, the only thing left to do is to use it basically. So let me take you on real quick and show you my little grow bed here. And let's add some fertilizer to it. So the way that I do that is I'll come in Make sure we're using the right fertilizer, the vegetative stage one. And normally I just pour right on the side over here. And all of the nutrients, oops, all of the, not the nutrients, the, the fertilizer will pour straight to the bottom. And over time it will absorb into the cocoa core and it stays between the, the clay pebbles at the bottom. And this plant will grow nice and big, as you see is going on here. Look at all these beautiful lettuce heads that are starting to form. Well, not lettuce heads, but lettuce seedlings. And chives, as well as all the nice, beautiful radishes that are maturing. So now that we poured a gallon in there, this is nice and heavy. We could put this back in our grow room. And now we know how to mix up more hydroponic fertilizer in case we need more vegetative fertilizer, as well as we know how to make flowering fertilizer for when plants are in their flowering stage. So we talked about a lot today. And if you have any questions, don't forget to put them down below. I'm gonna do my best to respond to everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching